420. Uh, do you know the origin of 420 is kind of interesting. In the 70s in San Rafael, California, north of us here, a group of high school boys who called themselves the Waldos because they would hang out and smoke next to a wall every day at 420. <laughs> Did that and somehow it caught on. It spread all over. And this is what the Waldos look like now. Gaze upon them. Those are the founding fathers of 420, <laughs> arranging from most to least high. It's kind of. Do you know this story, Guillermo? Uh, no, I don't have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you did celebrate today, yes? It, yeah, I did. You did, yeah. I, I, I did it for you and me. What's that? I did it for you and me. And thank you for doing yeah. it for us. How many people invent the holiday, though? It's just them and Jesus and a groundhog, I think. So <laughs> now that cannabis is out in the open, it used to be you couldn't even talk about it on television unless you were talking about how bad, what a menace it was. But now it's so widely accepted that even our shiny morning newscasters feel comfortable bringing it up. Weed, marijuana, pot, <laughs> whatever you guys call it, today is the biggest day of the year for it. It's 420. Otherwise known as 420 or Weed Day. Those three digits, 420, have become synonymous with marijuana culture. Yeah. Usually the day that most people smoke marijuana. All right, 420 is your time. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at all that green on my map here, Bianca. Happy 420 <laughs> Day, everybody. Happy 420 Day, by the way. Oh, happy 420. <laughs> happy 420. Happy 420. Happy 420. <laughs> 420. Happy 420. Happy 420. Happy 420, man. If you've got the munchies, this 420. Munchies on 420. A lot of people are going to have the munchies later. I think they have the munchies. Craving some munchies. Still got some munchies. Ooh, lots of good munchies. They had me at munchies. 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 And no, we're not advocating. We're just drawing attention to the national calendar. Yeah, and for people who are into this, they're probably already awake, lighting up. I'm told they call that wake and bake. Yes, I, I've heard that. I'm told that they call that. I'm told that by the guy who sells me my weed in the morning. <laughs> you know what this holiday needs uh, is a mascot. I was thinking since it's so close to Easter anyway, maybe we just modify the bunny to the 420 bunny. You know, he <laughs> hops around taking all the jelly beans back, put them, or maybe you could just be Santa Claus. Santa's definitely a stoner. Works <laughs> one day a year. Flies around eating cookies, long Jerry Garcia beard. He's a pothead. <laughs> According to uh, a new poll from CBS News, a vast majority of Americans want the federal government to legalize cannabis for recreational purchases. 66% are in favor. 34% no. 66% of Americans don't agree on anything. We can barely get 66% of Americans to agree that horse medicine is for horses. That's a lot of people. We did an experiment involving Guillermo today. I don't know if you noticed that something's a little different about him. It was a good experience. It was a good experience. Yes. So. Hey, well, and it is right now. What did you smoke, like a whole pillowcase? What happened? Uh, uh, I smoked uh, like almost a joint. OK. Yeah. So to demonstrate the effects that this has on the human brain, I thought it would be fun to ask Guillermo some questions before he smoked and then ask Similar questions after he smoked, kind of a pot quiz, and uh, <laughs> we started with a word scramble. Please unscramble those letters and tell us what that word is. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see what you got. <laughs> sober. And what does sober mean? Sober is mean we well, you're not <laughs> up. Okay, that is correct. And um, this is after partaking. Unscramble that word for me, if you would. Let's see how you did. Let's see how you did. No, I haven't done anything. Okay, now let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> man, hard, man. It starts with an S. Oh. <laughs> All right, pretty good. All right. Next category is geography. This is before. Name five U.S. states in 10 seconds. Oh, New York, California, Boston, uh, 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 New Jersey, Philadelphia, Washington, Arizona. 
Okay, almost good. And this is the same category after. One more time. In 10 seconds, name five U.S. states. Alaska. Um, Massachusetts. Um, All right, one more category. This is math. This is, you may remember these from your textbooks. It's a word problem. This is before. The day before, two days after the day before tomorrow is Saturday. What day is it today? Thursday. And now, after. The day before, two days after, the day before tomorrow is Saturday. What day is it today? It's 420. Thank you. You get a CBD plus is what you got there. <laughs> and thank you. I know it was a sacrifice for you violating your lifelong anti-drug policy to oh, do that with us. Very uh, hard sacrifice, Jimmy. Yes, very yes. hard, yes. You know, not all drugs are funny and fun, uh, especially not those that make the news as seen now in a new edition of This Week in Florida. On Monday night, the Franklin County Sheriff's Office made a large drug bust. Two women were arrested on meth charges, including the sheriff's daughter. As a result of a more long-term investigation, uh, we arrested a couple of ladies, and one of them happened to be my daughter for trafficking methamphetamine. Well, uh, she's in timeout for sure, right? <laughs> we have a great show for tonight, though. Vanessa Bayer, uh, Noah Cyrus, and for the first time with us in studio, the one and only Nicholas Cage is with us. Tonight. We thought it would be fun to have a... Um, the star of Face Off on the same night, our security guard is tripping his balls off, so. Uh, in New York, you know, the uh, fallout from the Oscars is now spilling onto other award shows. The producers of the Tonys today sent a letter to prospective audience members that said, the Tony Awards has a strict no violence policy. In the event of an incident, the perpetrator will be removed from the event immediately. We're looking at you, Cheetah Rivera. In the event of attack, not only will the perpetrator be removed from the theater, uh, they will be banned from the Tony Awards for 525,600 minutes. Is... I, I think this is good. I really, because I'm gonna tell you something. I know we laugh, but the only thing worse than getting slapped is getting slapped with jazz hands. That's terrible. <laughs> They're also changing the end of Hamilton. Instead of a duel, Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton uh, from now on play a very intense game of Wordle. I don't get it. What? I don't get that. You don't get it? Okay, it's okay. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the pot, by the way. Uh, you know, on this day in 2016, we launched a game uh, that's really taken over the nation. It's called Who's High? And the idea is I talk to three people on Hollywood Boulevard. I try to guess which one of them is high. And six years later, cannabis is now legal, uh, making it almost impossible to find anyone in the state of California who's not high. So tonight, we've given it a new twist. It's time to play Who's not high, okay? So my cousin Sal is out on the boulevard with three people we met. Um, and Sal, how are you tonight? I'm doing well. What are we doing? Let's just talk to Guillermo for an hour. You're right. <laughs> well, we don't, Guillermo, maybe you can help me with this. Maybe you'll be tuned into this, you All right, know? I, okay, I'll help you. Okay. I think the coroner just announced 420 is his official time of death. <laughs> Good Lord. So, um, Sal, and correct me if I have any of this wrong, two of the people that I'm looking at right now are high and one is not. That is correct. And it's uh, our job, Guillermo, to figure out. <laughs> I feel like a... I befriended a penguin at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> All right, so let's start with, uh, let's meet our contestants and start with Jenna. Where are you from, Jenna? Hi, uh, I currently live here in California in LA. And what do you do for work, Jenna? I'm a costume designer. You have any questions for Jenna? Uh, have you smoked weed today? <laughs> I don't know. She can't answer You'll that. You'll have cause... to figure it out. Yeah, all right. So let's meet our, oh, hey, how you doing? Let's meet our next. This is uh, Luca. Hi, Luca. Hey, Jamie. Pleasure to be here. Where are you from, Luca? I'm from Montreal, Quebec. 
You're a, oh, you're a Canadian. Okay, so you've had... Uh, cannabis has been more accepted up there uh, than it has here for quite some time. Definitely, yeah. Yes, and you're here on vacation right now? On vacation, yeah. I did Coachella weekend one, and now I'm spending a week in L.A. Okay, that's good. That's interesting. Coachella is a little bit of a clue, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and maybe. finally, Donna. Where are you from, Donna? I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. You're from Des Moines, Iowa. Now, is that the way you've always been taught to say Des Moines, Iowa? Is it Des Moines, Iowa? It's Des Moines. It is. Wow. Wow. This is a blowing my mind. Or maybe I'm the one who's hot. Wait, we've been leaving the ass off for no reason? Why isn't it Des Moines then? I, I don't know. Go uh, ask the person that made the state. I don't know who made the name. Yeah, ask the person who made the name. What do you do for work, Donna? I'm retired. You're retired. Okay, yes. all right. So Donna's retired. Luca's been at Coachella, so he's probably high. <laughs> we got to pick the one who isn't high. What are you thinking right now, Guillermo? I'm thinking with Donna. Donna's on the other side. <laughs> oh. Oh, on that side, right? You're yeah. leaning Donna on that side. Okay, yeah. all right. Can we see their eyes? Let's just zoom in real close on the eyes. Um, Jenna, yes. Jenna's got pretty clear eyes. A little bit of pinkness, but not much. Jenna does seem like she's trying to keep it together. All right, Luca. Luca. Luca is definitely high. And Donna, you are... Oh, boy, this is really hard. Yeah. You know what? I think it's Jenna. I think Jenna's the one who's not high. What do you think? No, I still think Donna. All right, okay. <laughs> I say Jenna, Guillermo says Donna. Which of you is not high? Well, high knows Raise high. your hand, step forward. It is Donna. <laughs> Donna, you're right, Guillermo. I told you. All right, well, hey, congratulations. None of you are going home empty-handed. We have, we uh, what have do peeps. we have, Sal? We have a package of peeps for everybody. Oh, we got peeps uh, for everybody. You Donnie, you might not like those so much, but thank you for playing. All right, there you go. That's the game. It's called Who's Not High? Thank you, Cousin Sal. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.